Hello, my pretties. So in the last read, um, you guys go watch the last read. We're picking up where we left off, okay? There's an individual who uh, tried to woo you or come into your life and distract you, whether it be with a proposal, a vacation, a, you know, any type of getaway. Um, I just heard marriage licenses um, just to get close to um, your bambinos, okay? Or to even get you pregnant with one, okay? The ultimate goal was to um, sacrifice, um, smex, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, the child smacks traffic or whatever. Um, put them to work. Um, monetize them and their chakras or whatever the case is. Just because um, you were a target because of your energy. And they have spiritual knowledge that whatever you go on and give birth to is, is going to have the same exact... They're gonna, it's going to hold the same energy signature. It's like they couldn't get you, so they went... Um, this is low y'all um and um i want you guys to pay very close attention to your bambinos because what is happening now and this is collectively someone was um ordered by a higher up okay to go get one of these And the person felt like they had it in the bag. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm kicking it to the mother, you know, um, I or um, we really like each other. You know, she's falling for it. Yay. Or, yeah, I'm going to go get this girl pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Um, or, or, yeah, she's going to let me take the Bambino to school. Or even if this is um, a child's mother or father, you know, yeah, I got, I got him. You know, um, I did some fuckery with the courts and you guys helped me you know what i mean with the rituals and stuff like that and i got them um but something changed you guys there was something that shifted okay whatever it was it did not happen okay someone literally cleansed you know once this particular ritual was done someone literally didn't feel right they knew all about it like i i and cleansed it right off it could have been off of a child it could have been off of uh, a mother that was with child it could have been some sort of manipulation kiss of death that was left on you know a man or a woman that was to um dominate them whatever the case is okay it's gonna resonate in different ways for different people we have catfish and breaking point so i believe the catfish is at their breaking point okay you were who you said you were I just heard, um, came into my life, said, y'all, y'all know I'm kind of sick. My throat hurting me from since Friday. When I lost all hope, you showed me love. Checking for you, boy, you're right on time. Angel of mine. You may have felt like this person was an angel in your life or something like that. Show me about catfish and breaking breaking point, please. Yeah, this messenger of romance and invitations. Some of you guys could be like feeling like, okay, so another one, another uh, person who's out to get me. Let me see breaking point. If this is you or actually this catfish. Nah, this is the queen of wands, you guys. This is you. You may have already had sex with this person. This could be past tense as well. You could be finding out like this is really what this person wanted. Some, for some of you guys, this person could have tried to get your, your Bambino um, off the street. Or even take them in a, in a, on a car ride or something like that. Check your, your, your Bambino's um, car seat under it, around it. Or some sort of uh, something that may have been left. Okay, to manipulate their energy or whatever the case is. <clears throat> yeah, it's like I was waiting for you, right? Checking for you, boy, you're right on time. Angel of mine. So how could, I'm, I, I'm feeling like, how could the one I gave my heart to break my heart so bad? So a person got next to a person just to... Offered them the Ten of Pentacles, 
love and marriage, white picket fence, so on, so forth. Ace of Pentacles, okay? I feel like, you know, somebody may have been all wrapped up in it. Yes, I knew my twin flame was supposed to be coming, yada, yada, yada. And actually, you know, um, this was... A setup. Okay. Some of you guys are telling me you may not even know that the person that you are or were dealing with is involved in um trying to do you something, gang stalking you. And they came in just for that. So we have the emperor and the moon. Yeah. I feel like everybody want a piece of you. And this is why you're feeling like, you know, this is, this is, this is your breaking point. Look at this. With this emperor energy, I feel like you guys, that, that um, this, if, if you have a child's father and he took your, your bambinos away, it feels like he may have manipulated them against you or, or that's what he plans to do. While he has you over here suffering, this guy's using um <clears throat> spell work. Oh, they telling me um that your child's father or your child's mother, depending on where you at in the story, may have sent this catfish in child to get the, the, the bambinos from you. Lie about the bambinos. For some of you guys, I know there was somebody that I that I spoke to who, you know, couldn't really find out who lied in court or who gave certain information. And it may very well be somebody that you were sleeping with that you have no idea, okay, that knows uh, your child's other parent, okay? What did I say? So we have the Knight of Cups. This is, I feel like secret meetings happen. Like, oh, let me come and give you the information. I just heard locks change. Fort Knox. I just heard Fort Knox. Earlier, I wanted to say something about uncle. Somebody may have something going on with their fingers. There's something here with, like, somebody trying to set... <clears throat> This father figure may have tried to set up this mother figure to get hurt, okay? And pretend like, oh my God, I loved her. When, when in all actuality, you know, he wasn't sad at all, okay? He may have even had some sort of uh, side piece that he was going to be dealing with. Something could be going on with her butt. She could have a big butt or butt implants or a little butt or whatever. Yeah, you look at this two of wands. They feel like they like, uh, you know, a modern day Bonnie and Clyde, okay? Her ponytail is thin, whoever this is. There's something about justice coming in, though. There's justice coming in. I feel like, I just heard David and Goliath. I feel like at the very last minute, you know what I'm saying? At the, um, I just heard when the clock strikes 12, I... Sitting here wondering how the hell did I let you leave? And baby, I know that I did my share of things to deceive you. Oh, this man miss you. I'm just trying to get. He's thinking about about when y'all used to have fun when y'all were children, play fight or younger teenagers or some shit like that. When y'all ran away, or when y'all left home or went on a road trip or some shit like that when you were hiding from something some of you guys could have hidden this person from the law or visit visited this person in jail he can't love you like i love you baby you should know it too yeah because it seems like if you're dating someone else or something like that and this person is not in cahoots with um a, a parent the other parent of your bambino um they want to fight for you you see they don't want you to be child, with nobody else. He can't love you like I love you. But they was just over here with the lady with the thin-ass ponytail. And the bad butt shots or uh, whatever she got going on back there. It's like now it seemed like he want to come back. I don't like this.
some of you guys may have, you know, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a bambino. And this is not a bambino. This could be a teen or something like that by this person. And they may like try to wait outside or something to talk to them or something. I feel like there's going to be a, uh, a threat of unaliving themselves. And, then, and and I'm hearing this kid say, well, fucking do it then. Like, I don't care. This kid feel like, well, go do it. The kid is saying, you always making stu stuff up. Especially, look at this with this energy of death. You've always said this is, is, is what the kid's like. There's something about this, this um, other parental figure being very dramatic. Okay? Very dramatic. Um... There's something here about somebody falling out, acting like they were sick or whatever. There's a lot of chaos, okay, concerning this other parent, whether it's a male or a female for you. It's like, you know, look how, look how happy she looks here um, as opposed to how, like, dried out and stuff like that. She look over here, then over here. You know, he done faked the damn heart attack or whatever. You know what I mean? And she's on him looking worried. And then it's like, why are you, why if, you know she's healing and stuff like that why do you feel the need to come back someone's gonna one of the one of these um it's like a teen kid or something like that this could even be a little a male boy or a pool boy that comes back and tells something oh wow Y'all, if there's an invitation to go hunting, do not let your um, Bambinos go. I don't care how old they are. If there's like an opportunity to go to like a gun range or something like that, do not let them go. At all. Because they're going to try to make it seem like it was a mistake. that this man is sad the father apparently and this is sad it's like if you have children the 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 other parent is just like wants to get you back and so they're gonna do that by messing with your trying to mess with your babies Somebody homeless. This man might be homeless. Yeah, because this lady is basically saying, like, don't play with my don't play with my kids. I'll hog tie your homeless ass. Don't play with them. This man may look disheveled. He may be crazy. You know, um, shit. He may live in the gutters or under the stairs or something like that. Outside and and in the rain it may sound crazy right this man may live um in the woods or something like that she's like i got got me a i got me a gator right it's the energy of stalking here i don't like this Yeah, like, this lady is basically saying, like, don't don't play with me, you know, because there's, there's a group of guys that's involved in this. This lady basically saying, don't don't play with me when it comes to mine. Like, don't do that because I'm bigger than y'all. I'll bust through brick walls for mine. Like, don't ever underestimate what I would do for mine. Yeah, look at this. This is watching. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right now. Everything's going to be all right. You guys are worrying. Um, you know, I, I just, this feels like, this feels very tumultuous, y'all. Somebody missing a finger or got an extra finger, something like that. So what is that? What is the three of coins here? Okay. So this this is goes back to saying like 
Like, I feel like this person, like, messing with your satellite or your cable box or on your roof or on the side of your home, like, trying to hear what's going on or something like that while you're, you know, maybe with somebody else. And then he watching with the, with the page of swords, like, listening or something to, to watch what you got going on. I feel like this man was gone and not taking care of his responsibilities when he was dealing with the um with the thin ponytail lady or whatever but once he done became homeless and you got under some nuts some other nuts be this person an op or not you know um this father child's father did not like that okay did not like that like, I feel like he... Remember when they used to have, like, the, um... The cans with the red string and then another can? Like, I feel like he was trying to, like, make, like, an apparatus to hear y'all. Like, what you, what you want to hear? You want to hear the oohs and the ahs and the glucks and the glucks? Like, and the macaroni and cheese sounds? Because what are you listening for? Don't stress yourself out about it. Word. So, look, seven of wands... Oh. Oh, seven of wands. The hermit. I just heard on your mark get set go. Be careful, y'all. There may be a man who wants to get you in some sort of vulnerable position, right? Like I said, if these ops know each other, your, your child's mother or father and your new love interest, if they know each other, you may want to be careful, okay? You, you, you probably don't know that they know each other, okay? Because that's the, that was the point to send a stranger in. Be careful because at, at the most vulnerable time, and I picked this up before, you know, it's like you're going to try, they're going to try to distract you with some shit like that. And this is all a plan that they, like, they're working for. Wait till you, you know what I'm saying, good, tired, and naked. And you got him sniping out the roof. And then you got this other guy over here, you know, just waiting if you come out the front door or whatever the case is. And then he's sleeping with his gun. So be careful. I just heard busted, disgusting, and can't be trusted. Whoever you're sleeping with or whatever. Yeah, seven of swords. Now, look, he creeping out the room. He's like, it's time. You know, they have like a plan set in place or whatever. Whatever this is, it didn't work out, okay? Um, I know that because of the previous read. This person was to get initiated from this. Like, way to go. You know what I'm saying? Good job or whatever. And they needed it because they outside homeless as hell. So they needed the, the money, the notoriety, notoriety, the spiritual blessings, um the initiation you know they need to up themselves big themselves up or upgrade themselves okay so we have tower and the ace of wands um they could some they could have done like um and i told y'all been hearing that song be cool about fire safe they be cool okay so this person could be up there fucking with wires purposely um i told y'all before if your water turns off or i just heard boiler room if something goes bad in the boiler room do not go down there by yourself okay or because this guy's an op you know for some of y'all your lover um don't go down there at all because i feel like it's like they're gonna try to turn off the lights or some shit like that i just heard ruff, ruff, ruff. turn off the light turn off the light not everything in this magical world is bright as it seems or something like that i don't know but that brings me to um this guy okay he's an op for a lot of you guys, he knows your ex, and he was sent in for that purpose. They come from the same um, gang, group, affiliations, society. So we have the um, Ace of Wands in the tower. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you see him sneaking out before the shots go off, right? He knew, okay? Um for some of you guys, and I said this before in, in a previous read, like somebody was trying to stage a robbery. Somebody was trying to stage a robbery. I just heard left the door open. If you was wondering, that person left the door open on purpose. 
Yeah, three of cups. This was a plan, like I told y'all. They planned this shit. And now we have five of wands, a shootout. I don't think they thought it, 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 it was going to be a shootout. I don't. Yeah, this was a little bit too much for this person. I, something happened. I don't know if you, if, oh, you shot back. Some of y'all got guns. Somebody was ready. Um, they stay ready so don't, they don't have to get ready, basically. Yeah, somebody, some of you guys sleep with y'all gun right next to y'all. Now, if this is not an op, okay, you see how he's sleeping with his gun right next to him? I don't think they knew about that. Okay, whoever that man is, he started busting back. And then this guy's just like, oh, let me get on out of here. You know, um, and he was supposed to go back to this hierophant. Okay, this is that matriarch energy. This is that person that's like close to the top of the totem pole as far as that society is concerned. Okay, and he's like, where my body? Where my body? Where my blood? Okay. Where my bambino? Something, right? And, and and you just over here chilling. I just heard, I'm kicking back and I'm good. He's waiting. This hierophant was waiting for, you know, the man to come home and tell him. He's like, well, did you at least pinch the bitch? You were able to defend yourself, be it physically or spiritually, from whatever was going on. Yeah, look at that with the six of wands. This could be your ancestors. Somebody, uncle's name is Gilly or Billy. Mike Dar Darth or Garth Yeah Um You're just blessed and 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 highly favored and divinely protected and that's just what that was. Okay? So I feel like you can rest easy now. Um Yeah, with the wheel of fortune. I see they still watching your money. Uh, always strapped when I hit the club is what I just heard. Keep your gun on you, all right? I got my gun on me. Yeah, with the five of wands and the six of swords, because, like, I don't know. It's like, if, if, if your new man is on the up and up, okay, you guys, he don't play when it comes to that, um, he don't play. Okay? He got that thing on him at all times. Again, he got that thing on him at all times. I don't know what they thought. That man may be a Leo. Yeah, look at him. What I say, he got that thing on him at all times. And this is the King of Wands. Like I said, he might be a Leo. This this other guy, this is Capricorn energy, but this other guy, you know, um, I feel like may give bad dreams, like um, try to project bad dreams, use their magic on to... Um, you know, you or your new boo or whatever the case is, or threats and th I'm gonna kill her and I'm gonna choke you or whatever. And he's like, I don't like just try it. Try me, try me. Whole motherfucking family and I ain't playing with nobody. Fuck around and I'ma catch a body while he sleeps. There's something here where it's like they being stalked or something like that, you guys. It feels like they're under pressure. Like this person and his his people won't leave them alone. Because you see, he's sleeping. And this is a fourth sword. They're supposed to be relaxed. And she's like, nah, I got you. She's sleeping with her gun in her hand. You hear me? Is this a uh, whatever type of gun that is? She sleeps with she's She's protecting him still, you know? Somebody's gonna go into hiding. Somebody's gonna go go into hiding or something like that. It could be a Knight of Wands. I feel like he's just gonna pop up out of nowhere to see him at the store or something like that. Minding your damn business with your cart or selling your stuff at the market. And he just come with his fucking cans of beans that he gotta eat for dinner because he ain't got shit, right? And I feel like he may be combative, you guys. So, oh yeah, this man may eat at like a soup kitchen or frequent a bar or 
um some it doesn't seem like it's upscale at all it seems very like it could get like seedy or whatever there's a jamaican man there who has like some sort of bun on top of his head or something like that um chin hairs somebody has three cuts in their eyebrows trying to wild out there's the person who holds their spoon so ridiculously that i want to kick him out y'all see him Come on now. No home training. Close this out, please. Um, whoever your baby mom baby mama or baby daddy um is, they did not want for your lover to stand the test of time. Like it's like, you know, I harassed the hell out of y'all. Why are you still around? It's like I'm unbothered. You know, this is the this is the woman that I want. <laughs> the one I need. Oh, yes, indeed. I just heard butter beans. He wanted this this guy, this big bad wolf, this could be a Capricorn or whatever, wanted to scare um this other love interest so bad, but it it, it didn't at all. It didn't scare them all. Development of news and enthusiasm. And something shady yet it feels like a threat like i said it feels like a threat to the home yeah some of you guys you know you guys are gonna be okay okay spirit is saying i'm gonna come through with something for you just be ready stay poised keep your house clean you guys um your house clean and um your papers in order and stuff like that there's gonna be something that you may need to do on a whim right get ready i mean stay ready so you don't have to get ready some of you guys going back to that energy like i said uh the person that you're sleeping with is not someone that you can trust okay they may um be in cahoots with this individual yeah, so we have spell work. Spells are being cast. Um, I, I, they just told me that um the baby daddy energy wants you to be freed, right? This is death. This is death spells, okay? Um, I feel like this was verbally said as well, okay? But you're definitely needing to purify your aura. We saw in the last read that you did that shit bow with with ease, with ease. Like, bitch, I'ma kill you. You like. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it says jump into conclusions. Yeah, like this, whoever you're dealing with is a, is a lunatic. Yeah, look at this stubborn and stuck in their ways. Like, just spending a lot of time trying to fuck with you. Look at this altercation energy. Oh, so they saying that this person, um, this person may go into hiding. But anyway, this, this altercation energy is like, um, they gonna have a fight or some shit like that with you or you know concerning you and they're gonna call the cops or you they're gonna start with you stalk you stalk you like a motherfucker death threat you spiritually and mentally spiritually and physically and they're gonna call the cops on you this is a restraining order right here and, and somebody got a gun there's a female here that got that gun on me right you're leveling up in life For a lot of you guys the relationship that you are in is meant to be I'm, it's not going to be for everybody because, like I said, for some of y'all, you're dealing with someone who is in cahoots with your ex, okay? Yeah, I see good times to be had, all right? Um, when, your, when your baby daddy leave, I don't know where the hell he going, but just, just go, go. Fuck it. You ain't, got, you ain't, like, you ain't even got to pass go. Don't pay $200. Just fucking go, right? <laughs> Uh-uh, look like he missed his plane. Help him! <laughs> you forgot something! This person could have lied about leaving or moving or something like that. Because this is a weirdo energy. Like, somebody who would fake a heart attack or fake, fake, I just heard fake a seizure. I just heard fake a seizure, right? So this is someone who, you know, would go all the way to the fucking airport, okay? And just watch the plane leave to try to, you know, worry you like, ah. I'm out of here. I'll never see my kid again or whatever. You know, um, you're dealing with somebody who's very mentally unstable. Um, 
I just heard not sure of themselves. This is a person with a point to prove. Um, it doesn't seem like the type of person that would stop. <coughs> so I would advise you guys, if you could, you know, get far away from this person, um, I would do so. Okay, you guys, I hope that helped.